Greetings. Welcome back to Pink Oddbird. Today what I'm here with is Christmas Journals. Okay, friends, as you can see, I have been very busy and I would like to start out by saying that these books originally started out as only supposing to be little, small, simple paper Christmas ephemera packs that I was going to put at my shop. And then I was like, oh, you know, why don't I just uh, make a little this? And then I'm like, how about that and that and that? And then here we are. We have six Christmas bundles of joy. I'm not even gonna act like I'm about to flip through all of these because <laughs> they're mostly the same and also we would be here all day long. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of these. But as you can see, they're all like really similar. The insides are all the same. There's only simple like small subtle differences in these so when I list these in my Etsy shop I will make sure that the photos are like will show what the differences are and we're gonna focus on this one so I'm gonna bring the camera in just a little bit more so to start I'm just gonna start unwrapping it the first thing you'll notice is we have about a yard of this uh, pretty lace and this came from an estate sale. It was from that lady who made doll dresses. So there's that is one of the Little pretty bows that we have around here to cover it up to wrap it up <laughs> And then around that we have just some red stretchy trim attached. Let me move this to the side <laughs> Attached we have a little ornament. I don't know. I got so lucky when I went to the thrift store I found a little lot of these and they each will come with one of these so they're all pretty much the same except one was made with only one of the snow children <laughs> but I thought these are super cute to add in and then as you can see they have these stickers that say personalize on them so you can take that off and paint it or do whatever you want to make it say whatever you want it to say so I thought that was super cute and then they all come with these little like small-ish shabby sloppy tassels and the theme of this book these books is actually cozy Christmas so we can call these like cozy bundle cozy Christmas bundles of joy that's what we'll call this so <laughs> um, I was really trying to go for the cozy theme nothing like too fancy or like too glitzy Christmassy but as you can see, I just put a little clasp at the top so that you can put, you can attach it wherever you want to. And then there's a nice little variety of different fibers in here. And then they all come with like this little um, strand of Christmassy stuff and they have like a different Christmas little uh, tchotchke on them, I guess. And then they all have a strand of the this super cute... <laughs> little tiny Christmas Christmas tree light garland so I thought that was super cute so that's what the tassel looks like on the top of the bundles they will all have a vintage photograph so I went into my stash and I tried to find photos that had at least two people or more in them unfortunately I don't have just you know Christmas or wintertime photos in my collection so some of them might be wearing dresses and stuff but the point of it is when you think about Christmas, when we start getting to Christmas, it's all about like family and being together and things like that. So I wanted to be able to include a photograph like this on each of the books and they're all mostly the same size. But for example, like some of them might have a smaller photograph, as you can see, it's a little bit smaller. So those ones, though, the ones that are like that will come with two photographs. So in this one, you can see, I thought that was like a super cute little photograph. She's actually holding like a little doll and they do look bundled up. So I thought that one was pretty perfect. All right, I'm going to set this aside for a second. At the very bottom, they all have one of these Christmas cards like I showed you earlier this year. I love those. You can take it apart and do whatever you want with it. And then this is what I'm calling my Dear Santa packet. And so what the idea behind this is, it's a little trio of letters and let me show you uh, what I did. So I just have this like candy cane 
candy cane twine holding it all together. <laughs> and then I just took a tsunami rose. I actually will, I will link to all of the information in the description box below. So if you have any questions about anything that I'm using, everything will be linked. So that's what's on the front of this one. They all have something different. And then on the other side, I stamped out this book belongs to. So obviously you can put that anywhere, anywhere you like in your book. They all will have a different shape. <laughs> And th these are based off of the t tutorial that AOZ did. I'll link it below, but these are little journaling spots. And this one was supposed to try and look like a Christmas light. And um, I'm not that good at drawing and stuff, you guys. <laughs> so it's very rustic, but you get the idea. Some of them are candy canes. Some are, um, and I have one that's an elf boot. So they're all different. And then on this particular one, I tried to wrap the like little gold string around it so that it will look more like a Christmas light. <laughs> but yeah, you can write on the back of that. And then the first envelope. So this one, this one is supposed to be for the children. So, so if you have any little ones, maybe children or grandchildren, this can be their little Dear Santa envelope. So maybe you can have them write like Dear Santa here in North Pole. On the other side, I had these little Tim Holtz enamel pieces forever and I didn't know what to do with them so I grabbed some yellow alcohol ink and I faded it out so that it wasn't white underneath uh, white anymore it had a little tint and then I took some red ink of gold so that I would be able to match like the yellows and the reds that you're seeing in this paper and then with this little poinsettia leaf I have a poinsettia stamp and so I just inked up one of the leaves from that poinsettia and took my archival ink and stamped over it so this is what I got so on the inside, it's just a little scrap of coffee stained paper. Maybe they can write their little note on that. And the next envelope, this one has a little bit of trim. And as you can see, a little ruffle there. This is made out of wallpaper. So I tried to pick wallpaper that I had that was like red or and or white. <laughs> so this one is one of the reddish ones. And then on the inside, it's just a little array of these little snowflakes that you can use in the book however you see fit. And then the next envelope is one of my favorite ones. I should have a tutorial coming on this soon. But here on the inside, I've tucked in a little vellum tag and I embossed the word Mary on here. They're all different, none of them are perfect. <laughs> And I stitched around the tag just to give it like another little uh, effect. And then I put some multi, I have ink all over my hands, you guys. I'm sorry. I've been working, working hard for the past couple days. <laughs> so that's this little tag. And I just have it tucked in there because I thought that was cute. And then the envelope itself kind of looks like this. I used real canceled out stamps and then I just decorated it all up. And so I put on this little closure using some twine and I, it's actually attached to the envelope slash letter. <clears throat> and my idea behind it's, it's being held on with this Brad. My idea behind this one is if you do have little ones, instead of telling them, sending them off and having them go write a note to Sam, to Santa, you guys can sit down and write your notes to Santa together. So I thought that would be a, so cute and a fun little activity to do together because then it's not just like, oh, you know, only kids write to Santa. So <laughs> you can have that little moment and then maybe even tuck it back in your journal. <laughs> so on the back, there's just another little fab fabric collage there. And then on the inside, I've left it mostly just plain so that you also can write your note to Santa. So I thought this was all such a cute little, a cute little idea. And it'll be fun to do if you actually do have your, your little ones in your family <laughs> do this. Okay, so I'm going to set the little Dear Santa packet off to the side. And then now... Each of the books is going to actually come with one of these, what I'm calling like stockings. <laughs> and they were made out of a like long sleeve sh uh, shirt. So getting them all perfectly matched up in the right size was a big challenge. Like for example, like this one here came out super tight and like you have to really like shimmy this journal in here. <laughs> Obviously it fits, but it's hanging on for dear life. 
Um, none of these are perfect. I'm not a grand sewer or anything like that, a grand seamstress. <laughs> As you can see, like they're not completely even, but again, it's going with the aesthetic of this theme. It's cozy Christmas, you know, and when I think of cozy Christmas, I think of being at home with hot chocolate and my pajamas and the fuzziest socks that I possibly own. <laughs> so nothing is perfect. So my idea behind putting these in stockings was that maybe you're not going to use this whole thing at this December and you can store it away so that when next December comes, you have a nice little bundle here where you can just pull this out and journal in it. And the other idea that I had was like with the pocket that I have made them all have, you can tuck in things that you might be saving from the Christmas that is to come. So if you have like Christmas cards or Christmas card fronts or notes, tags, anything like that, you can just tuck them in here and then embellish your book as you go through. And then the last thing that I was thinking was, if anything, if you don't use it until all the way, you know, if you use it a bit this year and then don't use it again until next year, it's covered. So it doesn't get dusty. <laughs> it doesn't get dusty. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, it's a sparkly trim. Um, the trim is, I guess, in the shirt, but it's sparkly. And then I just have some flannel fabric that I've just kind of attached into the top lining of the book just to give it a sort of finished look. And then they all have like a see-through-ish but sparkly front pocket for tucking ephemera in. So let's take a dive into this. In the front, as you can see in this pocket here, I have some pretty lace trim. And then I've just uh, put on two little bows just to give it like a nice little embellishment on the front. And then I went to the thrift store recently and I found this and I was like, oh, what fun. Because <laughs> it was so perfect. I was like, this was kismet. <laughs> It's a little shopping list and as you can see you have nice either space to actually do a shopping list or journaling space and then on the back same thing so look how cool that is and then it's obviously an envelope so if you want to have some coupons or whatever you do um, but I thought that was so cute it's so perfect so then I have one of these and it's got vintage music paper lining the inside and then so that's a fun little envelope that you have there. On the inside, there's a little tag stamped and stitched. And I use the bow stitch because it's Christmas time. <laughs> that's the poinsettia stamp, like what I showed you on that little enamel piece. And then they all have one of these little golden nutcracker guys. And they're all held on by garment pins from the papered sole. Then they all have one of these large fabric, super soft and cozy tags. And as you can see, they all have Father Christmas on the front. <laughs> There's a different image on each one, but I've just stitched around that. And then, of course, on the back, you have nice big journaling spot. So let's get inside of this. Again, as you can see, this is kind of what the stocking looks like on its own. Very shabbic. Shabbic. Shabbic, rusty and no, rustic and shabby. Shabbic. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what this is. <laughs> the other thing that I want to state before we move on into this is there are three that have the golden covers and there are three white, a white, off-white cream color. So let me show you just the differences in the in the actual covers on these. So as you can see, they all have a different like kind of collage on them. And again, with the Father Christmas, and then I've just layered in some fabrics and different fun little trims in the background. And then I had these little ornament, they're actually ornament hooks that my mom gave to me. And I was like, how can I use these? So one of the ways that I thought of was just using it as kind of like a little scroll to frame this collage and very carefully, very carefully, I stitched them onto the little collage here. So they're actually stitched to the page because I didn't want to like gunk it up with glue behind it. So very carefully it is stitched on there so same thing for this one as you can see so 
the covers themselves, they this is how they'll kind of look. And then on the back, they as you can see, this fabric, you might have remembered it from my grief journal, but it's the same fabric and it's so pretty. And this is kind of like a raised feel to it. So it's very pretty. And then this one is that gold fabric that I have. But as you can see, depending on how you turn it, it has like a sheen or a shine to it in the fabric where the pattern is. So it's really a pretty fabric also. And then they all will have a one of these little sweet, sweet doily pieces that I got from Miss Dolly and I it killed me to use these. <laughs> I just want you to know. That is going to be what the difference is and what the covers look like. So three cream ones and three gold ones like this. On the inside, they are... They have a very, a, I used a lightweight cardstock as the base of the cover, and then I just used fabric to reinforce that. So it's not a heavy duty cardstock. It's not a heavy, heavy duty book. But let me show you. The inside covers of these books, as you can see here, um, I did actually do an Instagram story on this, but it's actually a, a scan of my vintage little. Christmas doily. It's like a tabletop kind of doily thing. That's how it looks. So I just made a scan of that and then I printed it on a beige cardstock. So this was the result. And as you can see, it's a pliable cover and that's the way it is. So on the back, you have the same kind of print. So that is what, you, what you're getting on the inside cover. At the bottom here, I just had some fat flannel Again, I wanted to make sure there was a good amount of fabrics in this book and cozy looking fabrics because it's Christmas cozy, cozy Christmas bundles of joy. <laughs> so this is just a little pocket here at the front and then a little glitter tag topped with some of that same fabric. And then here, this printout is actually from Renee at GT Designs and she was so gracious to send this to me and I will link it down below because she actually has this available as a printable in her shop and it's so reasonably priced you guys it's the perfect little piece to add into like your december december journals or december dailies things like that so um and it actually came from her aunt's estate so it's a fun little piece we're just gonna flip through there's a little bit of fabric here i found a super cute little stamp i don't have a big christmas stamp collection i've used some christmas washi in here and then on this little Tucky spot, little journaling card, but these are the Tim Holtz Christmas stamps. So I just stamped out the word joy and I love those stamps. Little Christmas book page. This is what this one looks like. And then that is holding on some of these are, these are what those little letters that I showed you in the Santa, Dear Santa bundle. This is what inspired those. Basically, these are like those self con self contained where you write your note in here and then you just fold it up and then you place your stamp, address it and then ship it off. That's kind of what inspired those envelopes that I made over there. So, and then also this is a, another little piece of ephemera, but it's a tuck spot also. So this paper is what actually inspired the whole <laughs> in the, inspired the whole series. It's a, it's called Cozy Cozy Christmas actually and I found it at Tuesday morning it was a 6x6 six six paper pack and um so everything is really kind of based around that paper. Some washi. There's some more of that paper from the Cozy Christmas and then I just made like a collaged little tag and you can journal on the back. So a doily there is the other piece of that, of my, this. And so I didn't want to throw it away. So I just made it a tuck spot. One of these Tsunami Rose tag. Well, it's actually paper, but I made it a tag. And then on this side, we have one of my, what I'm calling staggered tags. <laughs> so it's just a little tag and I have stamped on it. And then these little tickets, I've just made them all cattywampus. And then you can um, journal on the back. Some more of those fabric little tabs. This is a little pocket here. Another little cutoff from that Christmas book. <clears throat> Some vintage music paper. 
This is a ribbon. I just turned it into a little tab. It has candy canes on it. And in the centers of the books, they're all going to have one of these little pockets. And inside of this one, it's one of those, again, self-contained little letter thingies and where you write your note inside. And then this one is one a, a little bit more vintage than the other two that are in this book, like the one that I showed you here. There's another one, but this one is more is older than the other two. Did a little bit of lace. So here I have stitched on some of that ephemera onto the first little piece here, but these are just like cutoffs of my papers. So I made like a little a flip spot where you can just write there. Then some more space for collaging and journaling. And then they all have one of these little things like I showed before where I saw Miss Nikki do it. And so this is one of the, what are they? Um, Rolodex, Rolodex cards. And then we have another, a different image of Father Christmas here, collaging in the back and a little bow. And then of course you can journal on the back. And then this is the second paper clip. They all have one like this and it's like a little angel. So I thought that was super cute. These are catalog cards, so they all will have one of those. I think those are fun to like collage with. Just a couple pieces of fabric here, doily, and then it flips out. Another pocket here, some more fabric, another tuck spot here. I just made big tags for journaling on them and then just little stamp in the bottom corner with some stitching. Some extra space, some washi, and another little piece of that Can Company ephemera. I stamped out the word Noel with those stamps, some more of those, the book that I have. There's the third charm, they will look like that. And then this is the third of those little self-contained things, but look how pretty that is. And they will all have one of these little altered time card thingies that I made. So what's going on here is there's like a collage in the background, there's some lace, buttons, and then I fussy cut out these birds out of some fabric and then use some words from that paper stack, the six by six stack. And then on the back, they will all have one of these little scrappy notepads in the back. And then that just tucks in on this little corner over here. And then in the pocket, I thought this time card was perfect because it's like red and green. And then I also have used tattered angels just to give it like an additional little spritz of color. As you can see those pops of green. And then I have used some more scraps from that six by six paper to make little tags. And I think they're so cute. And then I love these little tickets. They came from the paper soul. I grunged them up and then stamped the word joy on there with those Tim Holtz stamps. And I love those little tags. They're like one of my favorite things of all. <laughs> some more fabric, <clears throat> washi. They all will have one of these, what I'm calling ornament, <laughs> ornament tags, and they're made out of that six by six paper. And I have it just paper clipped onto the page. So if you wanted to actually take it out and maybe like add some paper and write a little note on here and hang it on your tree, I thought that would be like the cutest thing ever. So it's just stitched around the perimeter. It's cut, it's cut into a circle by hand. So very rustic. And they all have a teeny tiny little silver bell with a garment pen and then they all have one of these snowflakes that's cut out from the paper stack. There's the other side of that December paper. And then in the very back, one of my favorite little pieces is these little tags and they all will be different. So I will be sure to show you the different tags like this in the listings cause they're all different. But these are like my favorite little tags. I made some last year and I've decided to include them in one in each of these books. So they're so pretty. This is how it looks without the stuff in there. And then there's a little tag here that I got from Gracie and then another little Laura, Laura tag. And I just distressed it just to give it a cute little look when it's all tucked in here. So 
that is being held on at the back of the book where you can see the other side of that doily with one of these little clippies and then on the clips they all have one of another one of those little angels and then a bell at the very bottom so gives it a nice little jingle factor Whew, you guys I think I think we're done <laughs> this has been a mission of a video I hope you all have enjoyed this and I would love to be able to flip through all of them with you um, I can show you since this one is already out like subtle differences like here the tag different paper but same idea as you can see and then same thing like on the back the back tag is what's different so this is what this tag looks like very sparkly so you can see it's all mostly the same. Just those subtle little differences are what's going to be in here. So I hope that you guys like this little set as much as I do. I had so much fun making this and putting it all together. It, it, it's crazy how something that you set out to do that's so small turns into like this giant monumental project. And I have so much other stuff that I need to do. I need to work on custom orders now. Um, cause I have some people waiting for some things, but I really wanted to be able to come in and get some stuff loaded up into my shop so that, you know, it's not just sitting there empty. And so this being that it's Christmas theme, it'll give me a little bit of time <clears throat> to work on the other things that I need to work on, uh, before, you know, really getting it nice and, and stocked up again with more stuff. So that is going to wrap it up for me for now. B. Sure to stay tuned because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is heading into. And until next time, toodaloo.